told her they watching me Trying to figure me out Like what's my life like? Am I committed to foul? Perception is relying on what you trained your sight like So what you see is whatever gets permitted this is a composition and you can see I have this vertical uh, strange things in here and if you have watched Le Box Ring, my big tutorial that I really advise you to watch because there's so much stuff in there. If you watch that uh, tutorial then you know what this is. I, you know that I like to separate my composition into different sections and that is f uh, because I want to keep my composition, my flow as organized as possible. You know. I think the main point of nodal-based workflow is efficiency. Efficiency. And why you think that efficiency is absolutely necessary or important? Now, for me, efficiency is one way to keep you as long as possible in what I call the creative flow. You know, I mean, every artist knows that you once so, at some point you reach this this moment, this moment where you're just creating without thinking. You're not thinking anymore. You're just creating. It just flows, it just flows out of you. And um, so I brought it over here. Remember, wireless nodes have to be an in instance, otherwise you will lose the connection. And I cached it. I don't know why it takes so long. What I did in this in this line here, I changed it to something like this. You can see I extended the pavement and I added a shadow here. Okay, so this is um, this is the layer for the pavement. This is what we get. And how I did this is actually interesting. So many people out there, especially uh, I, the new ones who are new to Fusion. I, heard, I saw a few comments on the internet like complaining about the grid tool. I, oh, hey, what the hell is this crap? <laughs> yeah, if you don't know how to use the tool, then it's crap. But if you know how to use it, then it's doing magic for you. And with the flattened or with the unwrapped image, I would then uh, use the clone, the clone stamp tool to uh, copy the pavement's texture. Then I would paint in the texture, the shadow excuse me and yeah and the magic happens now that when I use this grid tool it moves back to its original state with the changed texture or with the extended pavement and the way I did this is also very simple now let's say we have this grid and I copy it over 